To modify fixture parameters, you must first select fixtures using either the keypad or group select buttons. Once selected, the appropriate parameter group LCD buttons will become active. Select a parameter group by pressing the LCD button. The available parameters will then become active on the encoders and can be seen in the fixture parameter window. You can modify intensity values in a number of ways. Pressing the full button will assign 100% to all selected fixtures. You can also use the at key to assign a specific intensity level. For example, entering at 50 enter would set the fixtures to 50%. You can fan intensity using the through button. For example, entering at 50 through 80 enter would fan the values evenly from 50 to 80%. You can also use the through button multiple times in a single command. So entering at 50 through 100 through 50 enter would set each end of the selected fixture range at 50% and the center at 100%. The console will always evenly fan the values regardless of if you have selected an even or odd number of fixtures. Spinning the encoder will allow you to manually adjust the intensity level from 0 to 100. You can also adjust parameters directly in the fixture parameter window by touching a pre-assigned value or touching and scrolling the values with your finger. All parameters can be adjusted using the encoders or directly accessing the values by touching the pre-assigned value buttons or touching and scrolling in the fixture parameter window. As discussed in a previous video, a single fixture parameter may have a number of value ranges. Looking at the top of the shutter column, you can see the parameter label and two numbers separated by a forward slash indicating multiple ranges are available. The second number indicates the number of ranges available and the first number indicates what range you're currently in. Touch the label button to open a pop-up window and directly access the individual ranges. With range lock on, you can then use the encoder or your finger to scroll inside the value range. There is a unique and very helpful feature available on value ranges pertaining to rotation or wheel spinning that allows you to quickly reverse the direction of rotation while maintaining the set speed. For example, we selected a group of lights that have a rotating gobo and we set the gobo rotation clockwise and set a speed. By touching the counterclockwise button, we reverse the direction but maintain the speed. The gobo parameter buttons have images indicating the default fixture gobos and cannot at this time be changed. Please see the fast access pop-up video for an additional feature for parameter control.